There is an Amerindian legend that says, the roof of the world is held up by the trees. If the forest disappears, nature and man will perish together. One of the major challenges of our time is what to do about tropical forests, which on one hand are the lungs of the world. Their decimation creates ecological problems for humanity as a whole. At the same time, they constitute uh, economic assets to the poor developing countries who own them, who feel that they must exploit their economic asset for their own development. And Iwakrama project is a chance for showing that you can do both. In 1989, when the Commonwealth Heads of State met in Kuala Lumpur, the need for drastic action on the environment was at the top of the agenda. It was there that Desmond Hoyt, then President of Guyana, one of the smallest and poorest Commonwealth countries, stood up and made an extraordinarily generous offer. This country would set aside close to one million acres of pristine rainforest for study and conservation, and as a testing ground for sustainable use. I must confess that I was really astonished at the, the ready way in which the offer was accepted. This offer from a small country like ours, with a, you know, a president who was a very minor player in world affairs, would generate such excitement. The Iwakrama International Rainforest Program takes its name from a range of mountains some 400 kilometers inland. According to the old people, Iwokrama means place of refuge, where members of the Makusi tribe hid from attackers in the distant past. And therefore what will happen is, if the international community doesn't take advantage of this extraordinarily generous and extraordinarily unique offer, I think what will happen, I, I got for a bit, I think the Guyanese forest may go the same way as the neighboring forest. After a two-hour drive from the airstrip through the forest, we finally reach the turnoff. There are five dorms, each equipped with toilets and showers, a storeroom, an administrative building where the shortwave radio is kept, a dining hall, a kitchen, and a clinic. There are many uh, forest experiment stations throughout the tropics, but I don't know of any others that have the capacity to do both the research and to do the, uh, the uh, utilization on a commercial scale. And also to combine that with training so that we build up a, a, a team of people who can actually do this and spread that knowledge to throughout the region and eventually throughout the world. Fred Alicock is the keeper of the flame of Iwakrama. An Amerindian who was born in the nearby village of Kuru Pukari, the only Amerindian village within the boundaries of the reserve land. Amen. Though Amerindians from other villages have traditionally used the land for fishing and hunting and as a source of materials. Now you. Fred has spent most of his life in the forest here, tapping balata trees for latex, driving cattle up the trail that runs through the reserve doing 101 different jobs. He supervised the construction of the field station and now is in charge of keeping it running. We need to develop our technology to exploit our resources in a disciplined and constructive manner so that the country can benefit. And this program is not only for Guyana, it is for the Commonwealth and the international world as a whole, because students from all over the world um, who are training and are interested, here is an opportunity. This is an untouched forest we are in now. Nobody has ever done any research, no logging, no mining was ever done here. The only thing that was done here was the balata, tapping of the balata latex, and that has ceased, stopped in operation since 1957. From building the camp, to cooking for the visiting researchers, to driving the trucks and boats, 
Without the local Amerindians, the field station would be impossible to run. And more than that, they, the men and women alike, are an irreplaceable source of information about the rainforest where they've lived in harmony for so long. Our government fully supports this Evo Krama project. We think this is a worthwhile project, not only for Guyana, but for the whole world. It's going to take millions of dollars and the commitment of hundreds of men and women to make this dream of Iwakrama a reality. Mm -hmm.